Ah, Alice! Delighted to see you again, my dear. Your arrival is filled with fortunatality itself. Never mind, dear. My pregnant show is about to pop. It requires only a medicament of your help velocity. We can barter. I have a nice screwdriver, nearly new, or a nice hammer, if you're more interested in... Most vexatious, no doubt, will address that um, monstrosity directly. That's to say, eventually. Now, let's intermediate more important matters. Due to a logisterical foul-up, some of the show's requisites need to be gathered. The munificent script needs fetching. The writer's overly imaginative and exploring several endings. Then you'll need to assemble the show's tune-deft music. And finally, gather our stars, the show's tasty... Uh, nay, tasteful performers. You should leave now. The essentiality of haste is essential. An impresario has arrangements. Ducks in a row, fish to fry, calls to Newcastle, etc., etc. Fetch the script from the writer, then we can batter or clatter or natter, as the case may be. To a personage of your distinguished repudiation, I blush at the notionality. He's an octopus, by the by. Lives over that way. Ta-da! This world is not so either or, Alice. You did a few errands, got your hands dirty. Big deal. The show distraculates the crowd. Shame you'll miss it. You need to deal with these sailors. It's your time. Enough of that, walrus. You start wailing about there being too much sand on the beach, I'll have your blubber for breakfast. I had no choice. One can't always do as one would like. I'd have thought you'd know that by now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show! Get in line, creatures. Don't push. All will be served so to speak. I'm not the enemy you seek, Alice. I tried to hide this bit of Wonderland from that beast. Appeasement's never clean. We must all play our assigned roles. Are you a pawn or a queen? An idiot or a practiced fool? However, this turns out, consider the prospect that you've been misled, Alice. And then ask by whom it arrived when you arrived. And it's more horrible even than you can currently imagine. The death of a dream. Caterpillar! May know how! Time? Time? The time has come to talk of ships and, uh, and, and vegetables and royalty and, uh, and whether pigs have wings and so on. That's quite enough of that, I think. Enough preliminaries. Here's the performance you've been waiting for. Proves I am without prejudice and have a fine sense of humour. Sword and crown are worthless here. I invite everyone to dance. Labourers, lawyers, church and gown all make their little prance. Men and women, young and old, reject my proffered hand. I don't implore them nor ignore them. I firmly take my stand. This life is full of random deaths and heaps of grief and shame. So few are soothed by accident, you want someone to blame. Fire, plague, and strange disease, drowned, murdered, or if you please, a long fall down the basement stairs, none are expected, no one cares. I know the steps so very well, all must learn my dance. Families may die and loved ones cry, but no one's left to chance. I often must work very hard, sweat running down my skin. After the dance, I then must rest, and the eating can begin. Time to eat. Death is the ultimate equalizer. All have the right to be eaten. <laughs> You'd better come aboard, Alice. We're doomed, of course. Oh, there's an infinite amount of hope, but none for us. Now get up here, confounded beasts. They want my ship. Never. We're almost relatives. <gasps> I've an idea. We'll leave this mayhem and go to Carpenter's show. It's better than a gaff. Carpenter promises what we don't take seriously can't harm us. My ship's at wreck, and I am too. Mm -hmm. Sacked from the railroad, without the option. Redundant, the nitwits said. Never a holiday. Loyal as a bulldog. Going in a different direction, my Aunt Fanny, if I had one. Going off the rails more like. Bloody disaster. Now I'm shipless. The old railroad's dead, and this new thing's a monstrosity. It never runs on time. Engineers are asleep at the switch. What I don't know about it can't hurt me. Say no more. Nod's as good as a wink. Change the subject. We avoid speaking about the thing whose name should not be spoken. You don't respect the suffering of others. Go ask your questions and smart remarks to Caterpillar. I'll just say we've escaped a contaminating corruption. Count yourself lucky to be down here. Nonsense.
Speak more nonsense. Diversions rule the day. The show must go on and so on. Speaking of shows, yeah, well, never mind. Here's a ticket for the show Carpenter's Mounting. Use it, Alice. My ship's a wreck. Any opening night failure would be disastrous. It's a scent of unrecognised genius. It's a piss-off. For starters, the Carpenter is a pusillanimous, parsimonious, petty-fucking moron. Your needs a shite. I need a drink. Who cares? I need those responsible for my abortive career in chains. No joy. I need to know what love is. The world is mum. Just now, I need a dose of hide and seek. Find me thrice, fair maid. Be quick about it, and we can deal. Is that the best you can do? Ugh, stop wasting my time. Where am I, Alice? Ugh, this is too easy. Oh, you have me now. You won't have me again. Haste may make waste, but slow gets you nowhere. Try again. Caught me. Don't rest on your barrels. Bye-bye. Wrong and wrong. Two wrongs never make anything. Alice, don't. Allow me masterpiece to be in vain. It's all in the game. A fair cop. You've won. You're a good sport. And no one died. Join me in the library. And like some, I don't Welsh. The carpenter commissioned a song and dance number on morality. Art and good sense be damned. He demands mirth, silliness, and restrained debauchery all round. Wallace will do a hero turn as death. Imagine! I'll bring the script to the theatre. You can be on your way. No doubt Carbon has got you collecting piskeen divas for the musical portion. The man really hires the proper talent. Some fish can sing, but not all. Rather, more, more. It's all wrong. I can hardly bear to listen. If I had ears, they'd be hurting. It's not my fault. I can't hear my notes. The pipes are obstructed. And endanger my vocal cords. You might do it for me. There's something wrong. I can't find the time for the notes. The audience will be grateful for your efforts. The performers' meager efforts will be enhanced by my musical score. Please wake them with this exciting news. You've made a respectable start to it. But a decent job would require considerably more application. I'm sure you'd like to do a decent job. That's all well and good, but my range needs a fully functional orchestra. (gasps) You just interrupted my dreams. Oh well. Off to the show, I suppose. We still need the star. The star. The star. We're in a play. Wake up, my agent. Help me, Alice. This poster for the show. It's ruined. If I can't put it back together, Carpenter will grind my pals. He'll have my shelf earrings. Help me put the poster back together. I need the poster now. How does this work? Where do these pieces go? Quick, before the show begins. Quickly. He could be here any minute. Uh, Carpenter will have my hide if I don't get it back together. Let us resume our place before our adoring fans at the theatre. Best find the Carpenter. My makeup's melting. And we're getting sleepy. What time is it? Do we have to go? Must we go? Where are my crabs? Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm ever so grateful. Is it morning already? Who are you?